All right, welcome back to Man of Medan. Medan, Medan. Uh, last time things didn't go so well. I think I made a couple of mistakes here and there. You know, like uh, picked the wrong decisions. So I didn't really like the ending. I kind of liked Conrad and what happened to him wasn't probably the best move. And uh, the mission was obviously to keep everyone safe. I failed at that and. Um, I had to go back uh, all all the way back to the end to the beginning basically uh, I made sure I made um, pretty much all the same decisions hopefully and uh, got to the point where they are about to go to sleep so hopefully this time I'll be able to keep everyone safe I really didn't like how things were going so I just had to restart I'm sorry just wanna want everyone to survive I think every single decision I made last time uh, was somewhat correct up until the point where the guy wanted Conrad, uh, I think his name is. He wanted to escape. I probably should have grabbed the knife. <coughs> Everything is pretty much the same, I think. I really want the outcome to be different this time. Alright, I'll make the same decisions, let's see where it takes me. Okay, gonna free her as well. I mean, I'm gag, not free. <laughs> Last time I needed to make a decision whether I wanted to check if they're coming or to, uh, you know, so. untie their hands. Guy, the way he grabs me, just like it really rapey vibes. Almost free. Hey, so uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of. Maybe the fisherman I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Maybe. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. I like this guy. Alex, what are they going to do? He has a good sense of humor even when the situation is like this. I'm going to get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Okay, last time I untied, so everything's gonna be the same up until the point where they need to break the window to escape. So. Shit. It's not good. Come on. Fuck out. I'll be back for you later. Conrad! 
Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. This asshole, I hope he's gonna get what's coming. Damn. Go with serious. What do you fuckers want? Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Acting so tough when everyone is tied up. Julia, you're coming back. Nothing to see here. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. Yeah, they probably won't because they're after the their parents. Did you see my brother? Parents money. No, I didn't. I hope he's alright. Alright. All right. So at the very beginning they said that both of them were loaded, so it, it would make sense. They just want uh Don't the ramp your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we can take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. Fuck, motherfuckers. The graphics are so detailed. I noticed when the characters are walking around on the carpet, you can see the, the footprints. Parents. What? How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? Yeah. What is it? They took my ring. <sighs> Julia, it's okay. It's okay. <sighs> now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. How are they gonna well, take the speedboat if it's, if it's sinking? There's a huge hole in it. If you can distract him, I can get on that boat. 
the dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. Okay, last time on the count Good of call. eight. That's what I I'll thought. I'll go through the but... window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here it goes. There goes nothing. Two, three, four. Whoops. <laughs> Conrad, yeah. Just get to the boat. So much yeah. for making it on time. Okay. Just keep calm. Go fuck yourself. This time I'm not gonna run. Okay, get in the knife. Gonna stay. Gonna stay and help everyone. Drop it, Buster. Conrad! Easy. Fliss, I got this. Let me handle it. Thanks for, doing, boy. thanks for the support, sis. So, just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me also. The boat is gone, come on. Take it. <laughs> Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Because if I would have tried to escape, I think it would have had a bad ending as well. Sit down. The guy, ha the guy would there. have definitely shot him. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con. C'est mon bateau. Stop. Ferme la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Uh, okay, so this is how they're gonna go get to the ghost ship. Such a nice bait. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Now it makes sense. At the very beginning of the game they showed that they had these like boxes. Uh, I guess that was gold on the ship. So it's, just, it's literally the coordinates of the ship. Hey, Conrad. You gave me your best shot. Alright! Shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these what? guys, they travel in the same waters. She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian goal. They're in cahoots. That would make sense, but I don't really believe that. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This is a trap, and you set us there up. Yeah, so put a cork in it. <laughs> Sit still, all of you. You come with me. Hey, leave her alone. I 
find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. We read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. It's yeah. all fine. It's uh, all good. Okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Helping others is good. Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know. Oh yeah, where is he? I completely forgot about the guy. Yeah, just stay optimistic. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays big boy. now. I guess we'll guess we'll get our answer as well. What happened to that guy, to the captain or general, whatever. The guy who tried to escape, I guess he didn't make it. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. I'm surprised myself. What was up with the Sai? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Sure. <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, uh -huh. I presume you're eager to get back to your story, but here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably shouldn't have said that. Uh, 
Okay. Can't say it was very helpful, but La porte! La porte! nothing as it seems. So does that mean there is? Things that happen in the ship are not what we think happened, or Junior, retire la tête à l'image. Just trap them on the ship, come on. Just oops. Go. Yes, we're going. No one's wearing shoes. Imagine getting a cut on this 100 whatever year old ship. Uh, nope, no thanks. Okay, this is the scene where we played as those two Go soldier on, guys with the ghost kid. I wonder if we'll meet anyone here, or is it too soon? This whole place is a floating death trap. Jump scare, it didn't work on me this time. I did not sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. Okay, the cross of that of the sailor. Who tried to use it against the ghost. Didn't really work out for him. Was hope? Stay what? back! Oh. Was hoping to get the cross. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? I thought it was pretty obvious that they just want the money. So they're keeping you as hostages to get the ransom. Oh shit! What? I didn't even see anything. What happened? Guy used to tomorrow again. Again, this is the third time this week. None of this... None of us like it down there. Uh, maybe Patterson should just buck up. Huh. Watson, you're involved to see. Okay, all of you, into the room. Wow. Thanks. That's 
very kind of him. Who would have thought? What the hell is this fucking place? Given our observations that this is some sort of ship and seems to be abandoned, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's some sort of abandoned ship. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. Yep, yeah, pretty much. We can't just sit around. We How come no one found this ship before? We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. If it stayed in the same area. I mean, Second they use the same guard, coordinates. We gotta take advantage to find of it, it and get off the ship. Yeah, man, this whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. What happened to him? No Need to idea. steal that part for the engine they first. They our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. Yeah. It's probably so, important. Okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're going to find on this floating coffin, we got to take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Sounds good. Fliss, I just wanted to say that... Um, I'm sorry. I might have gotten things kind of wrong back then. Oh, uh, you didn't say. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of... Blame you basically for organizing kind of everything? Maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys? Or whatever. But I... I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So... Yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Mm. Well, your apology is kind of accepted. Cool. Cool. <laughs> hmm. Don't tell me there is a secret passage. Okay. Gonna go first. Come on. Fuck. Give me a minute. I'm gonna see if I can get it all. Real, real creepy. Whatever, man. I just wanna get out of here. I think this ship was. Come take a look. Hi, baby doll. I miss you like crazy these months until my next leave. And I'm jumping into your arms three months. I've been on some sure leave with the guys. Had a few beers, but don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you. If you catch my drift, uh, how's work? Hope that the bus is yours, leaving uh, you alone. And you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away, and I want to keep you safe. Great. Of all the places I'm gonna I die get a lot on, of time to think while I'm, guard while I'm guarding the, the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky town there. Uh, some of the other guys have seen a figure roaming around, but I've always got you with me to, to keep me safe too. I will be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic, and we can get married and have two children. We'll be happy together forever. I love you so much, Miller. I can't remember the name. Is it one of those two guys that we played at the very beginning? Seems like it because he was talking about having beers and stuff. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey.
Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. Yeah, just, just find I out. I think we just gotta find out. Want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. It's gonna be gone, right? You do it. I knew it. He's the main character. Um... Okay, can't distract. You long john silver and shit, but uh, what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck faces. Yeah, no, you. I'm gonna rip your pirate pants off your shoulders. Otherwise, if you make too much noise, they will know this. I'm warning you. I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming after you guys? Because he will. Each and every one of you, personally. Hey, can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello. Should you put the shell back? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice. There's gotta be some stairs around here. I wonder what's behind this door. We'll find out next time. <laughs>